The blood chemistry, and very specifically the blood pH, has a very narrow range that it has to stay within or we just kind of die. So it's kind of an important thing and the body puts a lot of effort to keeping that blood pH in that range that is acceptable. One of the problems that can occur is that if the blood pH leans too far on the alkaline side, which can happen for a, a variety of reasons, but when the blood leans too far alkaline, what's called the Bohr effect kicks in. What this says is when the blood leans too far alkaline, that oxygen can't get down to the tissues where it needs to be. The oxygen gets stuck and trapped in the bloodstream. So your doctor may put a pulse oximeter on your finger and be like, oh man, your oxygen's great, way to go. But the problem is the oxygen can't get down to the tissues where it can be utilized correctly, where it needs to be for the body to function the way that it wants to function. To correct this problem, one of the compensatory or the ways that the body compensates for this issue is to lower the rate at which we breathe. It does this in an effort to hold on to more CO2. So we breathe in oxygen and we exhale CO2. CO2, however, is acidic. So if the blood is leaning too alkaline, the body can lower the rate at which we breathe to hold on to more CO2, keep more CO2 in that bloodstream, which helps acidify the blood and balance out the pH, and then help oxygen get down to the tissues where it needs to do. Way to go. Way to go, body. Way to go for slowing the breath rate so that we can keep more CO2 in the system, balance out the pH, and allow the body to work the way that it has to. The problem is, while a person is sleeping, that breath rate can go so low that the person will basically stop breathing momentarily, or at least enough to wake them up or keep them from getting into a deep state of sleep. So this can be a problem with sleep apnea. We see people sometimes that have a breath rate as low as six or seven, which is really low. An optimum range for your breath rate will be about 15 to 18 or 19 breaths per minute. So if someone's blood is leaning too acidic, the body will raise that breath rate in an effort to get rid of more CO2 and get rid of some of that acidity. When it's leaning too alkaline, the body will slow down that breath rate to hold on to more CO2 and help acidify that bloodstream a little bit. So so what you can do right now is you can just get uh, the timer on your iPhone or your smartphone or whatever kind of phone you got and just set it for a minute and then try to rest and breathe normally and count the number of inhales you have in that 60 second period. Don't count inhale as one and exhale as two. You just want to count the inhales. And if that breath rate is lower than 12, that's a really strong sign that your blood may be leaning too far on that alkaline side and it could be a contributing factor for your sleep apnea.